Hey, this is Kenny Johnson. I'm over here at Lesser Shoot Fighters, Nathan and Rob. We're going to go over uh, some stuff covering the Bolt Wrestling DVD. Uh, it's going to be out soon, but check it out <clears throat> on your Bolt affiliate, Lesser Shoot Fighters here in the UK. Give Nathan and Rob a call. We're going to go over now, we're going to a couple moves. One, we're going to talk about the proper clinch position and how to stop the clinch. How do you get to a proper clinch position? I want to have a nice deep underhook, and my hand is controlling the shoulder blade. My fingers are digging in and I'm holding them tight to me. Not just my hands not placed there, it's holding it tight. I like to have my thumb open wide and catch his arm in the crux of his elbow so he can't get an underhook on me. I don't want that. The hand, that, the arm that has an underhook, that same side leg is controlling the center down here. That's between his legs. I'm not back and I'm not hanging over. It's a recipe for disaster for you. I'm controlling here. My chin is controlling by his shoulder. Nice level. Controlling the center. Controlling the underhook. Controlling his underhook. Right here. Nice and tight. This is the position I want to start my technique in. One thing I do, how I move from here, I want, and also one other key point of the clinch, my shoulders, I don't want them even, and I don't want his shoulder lower than mine. I want mine just a touch below, the ball of my shoulder just below his, that allows me to have my arm clinched tighter and not extend it. And if he should drop to try to shoot on me, I can drop and it kind of adds another line of defense for me. When I move my opponent, I want to move, I hit, I call one inch, one inch. And when he pushes back, I'm going to step out with the outside foot, I'm going to pivot on this foot and control the center by knocking his knee out. Step here, I'm going to pull, push, knock the knee. And then I'm heading the other direction, push, push, step out, pull, push, push, step out, pull, drop the double leg. You want to move your opponent in here. You want to just stand in here. So again, you're going to work with your getting in on the good clinch, how I stop the clinch. When I look for the underhook, I don't try to grab his arm like this. I keep my arm tight and just open my thumb against my body. Do I have it here? Get bent up. If he can even get his hand inside here, he can go in. My thumb's against my body. Control here. Do not let him get an underhook from right here. Some things he likes to do, he wants to push in, get this under, he digs it. His hips come towards me. I just drop to a leg to the hip, control it, run the double. So here he tries to dig the underhook, drop to the double, pinning his arm. Second thing, when I feel here, his hands on my ribs, I don't have the underhook totally down. I pull my back, back, and ratchet it back, so it's real quick. So he doesn't have an underhook. He doesn't feel good here, he might try to pull away. As he pulls away, I can drop, step in, drop to my double, or as he steps away, I clear it by just pushing his arm across his body. He can look for the single, or I can look back out to clear. That's kind of stopping the clinch, moving in the clinch, working with the clinch, and a couple different techniques from there. Bolt wrestling, lesser shoot fighters.